Hi everyone, welcome back to Sales Guys. So today I'm gonna to do a slightly different video and the video is about how to message a high value guy when you're trying to date them. Uh, and the reason is I've, I've got a few female friends and they often come to me for dating advice. A lot of them come to me and say, hey Connor, I'm chatting to this guy. I met him a couple of times. Maybe they met him off social media or they met him off a dating app. And they say, these are the messages. Why is he ghosting me? Or why is he not interested? Or why is he not messaged me after the date? And often I look at the message and I get some background about the guy. Like, here's a scenario. One of my female friends came to me and she said, and she's about 33, she's 33. And she said, hey, I've got this guy that I met off a dating app we met a couple of times for drinks, we hooked up a couple of times, um, and now I'm messaging him and he's not replying. So I took the phone off her and I said, and because this is what girls have done to me, um, and most girls, they start getting ratty and they start going, hey, you're not spending enough time with me, they start getting really dramatic. The best thing that girls ever messaged to me, she said very respectfully, hey, I understand you're extremely busy, but a sort of note to say or a note to reply would have been nice. I then got back to her, and we're still friends to this day, actually. So I said this to my female friend. I said, this is what I'd say. Hey, I know you're really busy. Uh, I understand you've got a lot going on. The guy was like a high-level executive in advertising. Hey, I know you've got a lot going on. Uh, I just would have appreciated a reply. It's kind of shitty. Because um, he had completely ghosted her. She messaged him two or three times and he hadn't replied. He then got a reply. She then got a reply. He was like, oh, I'm really sorry. I've just been really busy. Do you want to you meet up? Now, she came back to me a week later and she was like, look, you're still not, you're still not you know, interested in meeting up with me and all that. And then, look, I had to say this to her. I had to say, you have to understand what's going on in this guy's life. This guy is in his 40s. He's at the peak, the absolute pinnacle of his earning potential and career. He was a high level executive, extremely busy. He did not have time to be pissing about with women that were getting a little bit ratty with him. So I said to her, look, wh what do you see this guy as? And she said, oh, I kind of see him now as, as not really something that serious. So I was like, well, well, well how are you messaging him? And, and she, in her head, she had switched how she was messaging him. She was messaging as if, as if they were boyfriend and girlfriend and they were a dumb thing. And I said, don't do that. Just, just try and fit yourself into this guy's life. What is this guy looking for? Because he's obviously not looking for a serious thing. He's obviously not looking for a girlfriend. So she started sending some pretty raunchy material and now they're seeing each other pretty regularly. And that wouldn't have happened if she had not thought from his perspective. This is the answer to, to the point. How do you message a guy that's important, that's got his shit together? How do you message him? And how do you get him to date you? You have to look from his perspective. And this is the thing that not, not just women, women and men are really bad at. You have to look at their perspective. What is their life like? How busy are they? Do they have time to date someone you know, properly? You don't have to, um, you know, obviously if it's not gonna work with your lifestyle, don't date them. But if it's someone you do want to see, at first, seek first to understand, then to be understood. You have to fit yourself into their lifestyle, especially if they're super important. So anyway, that's the video for today, ladies. You've got to fit yourself into the guy's life. If you like these sort of videos, I'm just, I'm just speaking on various subjects here. Let me know. Bye-bye. Show you a bit of London.